Hi everyone, it's Rob Adams here. Thanks for reading the article. I wanted to walk you through the most basic steps that I use to create a same day edit looper. It's pretty simple. What I've gone ahead and done ahead of time is uh, by this point I've already organized all of my footage. So whether you're shooting a lot of footage or you're shooting just a little bit of footage on your wedding day, um, you definitely want to put them into folders and kind of separate them by maybe camera person or my, by maybe the subject, what they are and what the footage is of. For example, bride's prep ceremony, that sort of thing. And as I open up Final Cut Pro here, we're going to use Final Cut Pro 10 for its speed and its flexibility when using DSLR footage. Um, you'll see here on the left hand side that all of my footage is labeled into folders by the camera person's name and also um, what part of the day was filmed at that point. So right now I'm in the bride's prep folder. So let's say I'm going to sit down and start doing a same day uh, at a looper, I'm looking for just three to five second shots, and I'm not going to use a whole lot of them. I mean, you can make these as short or as long as you want based on the amount of time that you have, but I'm basically looking just to put a couple of clips together here just to show you my workflow. So I'm skimming right now. This is called skimming in Final Cut Pro 10, and I'm just running the cursor over the footage, and it's showing me where I'm at in that particular point in time in the footage. So let's say, for example, I want to use a shot of the bride getting her makeup done. I simply go to the point where I want the clip to start, hit I. That's to set an end point, I end point, and just travel to where I want it to end and hit O on the keyboard. That's for out, so I for in, O for out, and then hit the letter E on the keyboard, and it's going to drop that clip down here into the timeline. And you'll see now here that I have a video clip placed down on the bottom. Now all I'm going to do is go find the next shot that I want. I'm just going to navigate over here maybe to the makeup artist. That's mom, actually. Let's say we'll use a shot of mom, and I'm just going to, again... Put the playhead down, that's that little red bar where I want the clip to start, hit I, play it for a couple seconds by hitting space bar, hit O, and hit E. And look what it did, it automatically dropped it down to the bottom right after the first clip. So if I were to play this back just by hitting the space bar, the clips now cut together. And that's it, I will do this for about an hour, just sort of piecing together different shots of the day. Uh, here's the shot of the bride going over her vows. Maybe I'll take a short clip of this. So in, let it play for a couple seconds, and then out, and hit the letter E. And again, it made another edit down there on the timeline. So just easily and quickly and cleanly piecing video clips together, and I'll do that for all parts of the wedding day. Um, and that's it. So if I wanted to jump now to groom's prep, real quickly, I'll just take you over into a different folder here. These are called keyword collections in Final Cut Pro 10. And I'm simply going to grab a shot. Here's a shot of the guys getting ready. And I'm just sort of quickly going through here and grabbing different shots. I, O, and then the letter E. There it is. So within a matter of a couple of uh, minutes, not even, I mean, I'm teaching while I do this, I was able to put four clips down on the timeline. So think of what you could do if you were giving it all your focus and uh, sitting down for uh, 45 minutes to an hour to do this. If you want to play it back, I just bring the playhead back to the beginning here and press the space bar. And it will play back my video. You can see how the cuts are clean and the shots are clean, and that's what I'm looking for when I'm doing a same-day edit. And then all I wanted, all that I have to do at the end is uh, is export this out to a uh, watchable video file. So we could play it back from the timeline here in Final Cut Pro. There's a full screen feature. If I were to hit this button, it would take the video full screen. But I'm not looking to do that right now. I'm just going to render something out because um, if you play it full screen, if it's not rendered, it might not play smoothly. So all you do to do that is go up here to File go to share and then go to master file and then you'll export it out of current settings and you'll, then you'll end up with a uh, with a video file that you can just play full screen on the laptop for a same day edit looper so not a very complicated workflow really something very easy to do next time you're out in a wedding give it a shot or give it a shot at home and then try it out next time you feel comfortable on a wedding